right, so this is fly, and you are, how would you describe yourself? You are Israel's boyfriend? Yes. Are you, are you her money manager as well? Yes. Would you call it a pimp? I wouldn't use that per se, but yeah. 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 You guys have known each other for a while? Yeah. And you're a crip? Yes, I am. You're a crip. You grew up in South Central? Yes. So, you know, I was trying to help out Israel with, uh, you know, get, getting a stable situation for her and her kids and help her with the drug addiction and education and job and all, you know, supporting herself. Right. And the money I was giving her started increasing and increasing and increasing. I was giving out thousands a day at some point. I think that was probably going to you at some point? Yeah. Yeah. And that's because you're her money manager. Right. Does that, does that money, where does that money go? Because she's still asking me for like $25 for gas and stuff like that, so she's not getting it. It goes towards me, the kids, and sometimes her. Depends on what it is. Mm -hmm. And you've been doing this kind of work for how long? Since I was 18. How old do you know? 30. 30. You've been in prison time? Yes, I have. What kind of stuff for? Just minor. All right. Um, just a brief... Uh, how do I say this? Just uh, 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 to explain this scenario. This guy tries to save women from, um, well, she's a prostitute. She's a streetwalker. And she's, I believe, she, at the time of her first interview, she was 22, with two children from a prior guy who pimped her and put her on the streets and had her prostituting for the gang. Uh, I guess he was a crip or a blood. I believe a blood. He went to jail. And now she's hooked up with this guy. Well, the guy that was interviewing them was a guy who was sympathetic to females who are pimped out by um, gangbangers, drug dealers, and, you know, uh, whatever. So he was funneling thousands of dollars a day. 400 started with 400 or 300 and then it went to 2000s to 2000s. And got, he got her an apartment. He got her a place to live in a nice area. Uh, and it was basically to re, uh, to, uh, he kind of his own little way of rescuing women, so he was doing that. The, the moral of the story is the more you help these type of people, these people are black holes. They suck life. They, they take everything you have from you, and you're disposable. These creatures do not change. Women in this low state will, will no matter where they're at they remain who they are and they're only loyal to the street game that's their life to the beginning to the very le end of this woman's life she is going to be a a scarlet woman she's going to be a, a fractured damaged woman to the day she dies and unfortunately for her children they'll probably follow in the same footsteps as this guy right here the role model the pimp that you're fun. If you are sympathetic to these women, this is where the money's going to. This guy, that man, he houses them, he pimps them, he plays them. It's his game. And she's allowing you to be a fool for her. Watch out, men. I am telling you, you this is the new year, 2022. Smarten up, wise up.